Hello there YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you how to code uh, using Computercraft outside of Minecraft. Don't you hate it when you've got a load of code that's all over the place and you, you just can't work out what you've done wrong or you want to type it out a lot easier? Well there is a way of doing it. Um, Probably a lot of you have already worked it out. Uh, it's by using Notepad, uh, Notepad++. Uh, well, first of all, what you need to do is you need to go to Google and type in Notepad++ uh, and then click the download icon and it will take you to this page. Uh, I download the uh, Notepad plus plus installer just makes it a bit easier um, and I'd, I'd rather it installed rather than just a folder somewhere on my computer now once you've downloaded the program what you need to do is you have to go to start and then launch notepad plus plus and you should get something that looks like this uh, I'll make it bigger um, a nice clean interface, uh, I'm able to use my mouse a lot uh, and click where I want in the code. So what what you need to do first of all is to find out how to get the code from computer uh, compute Minecraft um, where the computer craft files are. Now in single player they're located in your app data so it's percent sign I'll leave that last for the servers it's the percent sign uh, where's that on the keyboard now? Yeah, percent app data percent sign again and press enter uh, and then double click dot minecraft and then you should have a saves folder you open the saves folder and then click which world the computers are in I'll say world for instance and sorry about that bus just drove by um, computer and here's the list of the computers on in your single player world um, or you can go to the server and in the server directory you should have your world folder uh, or whatever you named it in the configuration log which is here and then be located I'll show you now it will say uh, world name uh, level name and it will say world so I scroll up to world open world and computers are in there now the way to work out which computer you're using you probably already know this I will say it anyway is when you load up a computer all you have to do uh, I'll try and uh, not turn it right clear right what you have to do is just type ID, press enter. Uh, this computer is 5, so what I need to do is I'll go to my designated folder, go to ID5, and as you can see, I've already got a file there. If you don't have any files here, then that's no problem. All you have to do is go back to the computer, type in edit, and then make a file called uh, YouTube say press enter and just save that file like that by pressing control and then pressing enter um, and then press control again and quit exit sorry then go back to your file and you'll see a file called YouTube and all we have to do is right click on the file 
edit with notepad plus plus and it will come up here and all we have to do is edit it so um, we have edited the YouTube file uh, and then control s to save and then when we go back into minecraft go edit YouTube and as you can see it came up you have edited the YouTube file um, Oh, I've got skeletons kicking off. Uh, let's turn the sound off. Um, yeah, so it is literally that easy. Um, if you're on someone else's server, then you would want them to like add a uh, share the URL for the files so you can edit them um, by using. Uh, an FTP server or something along those lines um, but otherwise other than that if it's your own server you can get to the files easily uh, and also you can edit the files in single player now uh, thanks for taking your time and looking into this um, I hope that you subscribe and continue watching my tutorials um, I'll have many tutorials coming on making this banking system um, uh, no that's the shop uh, so I'll be making the shop banking system and some games that we can play to earn coins and make basically be able to purchase items uh, thanks for ever so watching I uh, hope you uh, subscribe don't forget to rate and comment on this video thank you ever so much